Welcome back grade 5 and 6. I hope you have enjoyed your midterm break, you've relaxed, you haven't touched any schoolwork, and you're back with a clear mind to finish off the term. We watched your videos, we listened to your voice notes, and very few of you listened to my instructions. There were many questions in the inbox. What are we supposed to do? How? I didn't know that. And yet, the video where I instructed you, right, that once a week video, I explained, Oh, come all ye faithful, and sing along to the call and response videos. So from now on, I give instructions once. I will do my best to be as specific as possible so that no one has a reason to ask any questions. Okay? Instructions are given one time. And after that, if you're wondering, you have to either go back to the video tutorial and write it down or if I've sent you a message with the proper written instructions, you will refer to that. No more messaging me about, are we supposed to? Are we supposed to? Okay? All right. The other thing I noticed was you, some of you sang the words rather than the solfege. You sang the lyrics of the song rather than the solfege. And yet solfege is what we've been doing. So that was sad because that was not anything to do with what I instructed you. This week we're going to work through O Come All Ye Faithful from beginning to the end. Make sure you don't throw away this song because it will come back for your final exam at the end of the term as one of the songs that you'll, that you'll sing. So we're going to go through the top lines which have the melody and I put a star next to those particular lines. Okay, so every three stacks put together, the top line, the rest is harmony. So I'm going to use this note as my do. Do. Gabriella, I really loved the way you gave that to me. You said, Miss, this is my do. And you sang your do, whatever was comfortable for you. Very impressed with that. Okay, so this is my do. Do. So let's sing slowly together, beginning to end. Do, do, so, do, re, so, mi, re, mi, fa, mi, re, do, do, ti, la, ti, do, re, mi, ti, la, so, so. So I can correct that. I can sing that with you again. Do, re, mi, fa. Let me start from here. Fa, mi, re, do, ti. Do, fa, mi, re, do, do. I think that was a good example of how you can find a note even if the line doesn't begin with do. You can find your do and then figure out what note that is that starts somewhere in the middle of the scale. Okay, so that's a good way to correct yourself if you're stuck and you're practicing and you're trying to figure out how can I keep practicing this line just by itself and you don't need the whole song to just correct a small part. Okay, so make sure you work on that. Get really comfortable with the solfege of this song. I hope that you are not writing the solfege underneath the notes. That is not allowed. Have you seen me doing that here? No, because we're supposed to be memorizing how 
each note relates to the solfege. Our minds needs the, our minds need to be internalizing that. So no writing down the solfege underneath. Just like when we play recorder, I don't want you writing down D C sorry violin D C B C. I don't want that. Okay. So keep that in mind. Let's put in better effort. And this applies for every class. Just listen to instructions. Your teachers are working hard to make sure you're keeping up with everything. So help them by just listening to instructions, doing what you're asked, and go the extra mile. We will notice when you put in effort. Okay?